Bulls Nation, it's your girl Queen Chill Mode, and we're coming to a close of our Chicago Bulls depth chart series as we'll wrap it up today with our addition of the center position. We'll focus on the expectations and outlook for the upcoming season for Wendell Carter Jr., Robin Lopez, Cristiano Fel- Felicio, excuse me, and Omir Ashik. So without further ado, hey, hey, let's get to it. Drafted with the seventh pick in this year's draft, Wendell Carter Jr. is coming off an outstanding summer league season. With the excellent play he displayed on both ends of the floor, to say the expectations are high for Carter Jr. would be an understatement. Recently, Wendell Carter Jr. was voted most likely to have the best career by his fellow rookie classmates, according to the annual NBA Rookie Survey. Some things that we can expect to see from Wendell Carter Jr. in his upcoming rookie season. First off, I expect that he'll continue to show improvement as a perimeter defender. Going into the draft, defending against smaller guards and wings on the perimeter was considered to be one of the weaknesses of Wendell Carter Jr.'s game. However, throughout summer league play, he showed how far he has come in improving in his ability to stay in front of guards and wings while defending them on the perimeter. While he is to be applauded for working hard to improve in that area in a short amount of time from the end of the NCAA season to the start of summer league play, he did not face any of the top guards or wings of the NBA during summer league. So therefore, he will definitely be tested by those players. So here's hoping that as the season approaches, Wendell Carter Jr. will continue to show an improvement in that area because he's definitely going to get it from the best in the game when they see him on the perimeter. Another area of his game that I certainly expect him to continue to not only improve at, but definitely be the strong point of his game this season, rim protection. Carter excels as a rim protecting shot blocker. Having averaged 3.5 blocks per game in his lone season at Duke, he continued to impress as a shot blocker in summer league as he averaged 2.6 blocks per game. I certainly expect that he'll continue to protect the paint as a defender and make teams think twice about coming inside the paint against the Chicago Bulls. Now the potential of Wendell Carter Jr. as an effective perimeter shooter is there. We got a glimpse of what he can do as a three-point shooter in college as he shot 41% from three-point range and followed that up with a 42% um, shooting from three-point range during summer league play. Also in summer league play, he showed off his 15 to 18 foot mid-range jumper. Now think about it guys, just imagine when it's all said and done, if the Bulls can come out of this rebuild with two big men who are effective on the perimeter, on the low block, and at the rim, oh the problems that he and Marker could cause the rest of the league. Now as far as his his role on the team, with the presence of Robin Lopez, I'm not sure if Wendell Carter Jr. will start the season as the starting center for the Bulls, however, with his overall talent, both of both offensively and defensively, I expect that over the course of the season, he'll become the starting center for our Chicago Bulls. Robin Lopez was the model of professionalism and an engaged leader for a young Bulls core last season. From a basketball standpoint, he provided the Bulls with a consistent mid-range jump shooter, a solid pick and roll player, and the ability to protect the rim on some occasions. He played in 64 games and averaged 11 points, and four rebounds while shooting 53% from the field overall. With the Young Bulls core, Rolo's name will probably be mentioned in numerous trade rumors throughout the course of this upcoming NBA season. Now if the Bulls front office does the unthinkable and keep Rolo throughout the season, expect him to continue to provide a reliable presence, solid offense, rebounding, defense, as well as leadership by teaching our young bigs. I also expect that Rolo would very well start the season as the team's starting center, but could very well give way that position over the course of the season to young bull Wendell Carter Jr. Now with that being said, I personally expect that the Bulls will attempt to move Robin Lopez at some point during this season. He is in the final year of his contract and could provide a quality big man for a contending team making the stretch run in the latter stages of the NBA season. Coming off an offseason in which he received a four-year contract extension, the Bulls were expecting to see Cristiano Felicio continue to develop as a big man. However, he came into camp out of shape and played inconsistent throughout the season. He saw a decline in his rebounding, blocks, and steals, played in 55 games, averaged five points and four rebounds while shooting 59% from the field. Now, Felicio's best attributes are his pick-and-roll rim-running abilities. 
He didn't appear to have the same speed as a rim runner and at times he struggled to adjust to Fred Hoiberg's system. However, when given consistent minutes, his numbers increased. It got so bad, however, for Felicio last season that he even spent some time in the G League working on his game. However, towards the end of the season, he started to receive more minutes, more consistent minutes, and increased his output in both points and rebounds. Then with three years remaining on his contract, he definitely will be back with the Chicago Bulls. Whether he's able to find minutes with players like Robin Lopez, Carter Jr., Marketing, Portis, all ahead of him, it may be more of the same for Felicio this season. Now, if he cannot return to the pick and roll rim runner with defensive quickness that he once was, he may very well only see playing time due to injuries or if somebody is ahead of him, ends up getting traded. The Bulls brought back former bench mob standout Omir Ashik in a trade this past season in order to acquire an extra first round pick in this year's past draft. That turned out to be the 22nd pick in which we spent selecting Chandler Hutchison. Now, Omir played in the final four games of the season for the Chicago Bulls, but I don't think he factors into the Bulls' plans as far as playing time is concerned. In the event that someone ahead of him gets traded or injured, possibly, but I don't expect to see Omir Sheik a part of the Bulls' rotation this upcoming season. But because he has a trade exception and a partial guarantee contract during the 2019-20 season, he could very well be an asset um, to move along in, a, in exchange for possibly future draft picks.